Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to WillieHow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. This, I've seen this topic come up several times over the last couple days, so I thought I would address it. And it, it's come up in a couple Unify forums. It's, come up, it's actually come up on a couple Synology VPN things. And so the question is, what is an FQDN? or a fully qualified domain name, and why do we use those? Why should we use those? How do we use those? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you an example. I've got my Cloud Key Gen 2 here, and uh, when you're doing fully qualified domain names, you've seen us do Synology VPN. We always use fully qualified domain names. When uh, we're gonna get into our GW man GWN manager, that's gonna be fully qualified domain names. We wanna use fully qualified domain names. So what is a fully qualified domain name? It depends how you use it. So I own willyhow.com. If I had a service, which I do, I have a, uh, you know, my website, if you go to that, willyhow.com, that is the fully qualified domain name for my website. That service is my website. Now, as you can see here on the cloud key, for the cloud key, I have this set up as ckg2.lab.willyhow.com. So my domain is willyhow.com, and then the fully qualified part, which gets us to this cloud key, which is where my Unify server exists, is ckg2.lab.willyhow.com. Now, in my DNS server, there is uh, probably an A record, or you could use a C name record, but we typically use A records, uh, which is you know defines a host. Uh, that points the IP address, so 192.168.66.97. I, I called it up here so you could see that. We are going to map in our DNS server internally 192.168.66.97 to this fully qualified domain name. Now, why do we do that? Well, we do that for several reasons. If we don't own our block of IP addresses where we're hosting, or even if we're paying for IPs but we don't actually own them, like if we don't have our, excuse me, if we don't have our ASN with Aaron or whoever uh, the authority is for IP addresses where you're at, and you don't you don't actually own those IPs, the IPs can change. So if you're configuring services and you want to do things like uh, you know external high availability, there's all kinds of advantages. I'm really just scraping the surface, but your FQDN, your fully qualified domain name is usually not going to change and an IP address can change. So if I've got all of my devices in my Unify network to inform to ckg2.lab.willyhow.com, even if the IP address changes, once I update that DNS record, I never have to touch the host. So I can provide that better continuity and uh, if you have to provide failover, disaster recovery, things like that, if you don't have to worry about the IP address, it's one less thing and just makes things go much smoother. That's why when you see the Synology videos, a lot of times we'll either buy that Google domain for 12 bucks a year or we will um, use a Synology.me and we then uh, you know, connect to a VPN that is you know, lab.willyhow.com um, or whatever your fully qualified domain name is instead of trying to connect to an IP address because a lot of folks don't have static IPs. There is still occasionally still a need for static IPs, but a lot of users can get away with dynamic IPs. And when they change, you don't want to have to try to change your configuration. So that's why we use fully qualified domain names and dynamic DNS plays into that. So. If I muddied the waters, if that wasn't clear, let me know. If it was clear, let me know either way down in the comments. If you've got any more questions about this infrastructure uh, type setup, why we use it, let me know in the comments. If I need to make another video explaining it a little further, I will. If you want to see fully qualified domain name uh, setups for specific products that we haven't done or we want to revisit something that we have done, you know, let me know and we will work on that. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment, share, please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a pa patron on Patreon, that link is down below. 
If you'd like to support the channel by using all of our affiliate links, they're also down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. And if you need that IT consulting, reach out at willyhow.com. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.